Hi everyone, Andrea here, and today I have a special guest with me. This is my beautiful mother-in-law, Ginger. <laughs> Say hi, yes. Um, so I'm really excited to have her here doing this with me. I'm actually at her house doing this, and um, I asked her if she'd like to do this Dollar Tree haul with me. So that is what we're gonna show you today. Um, today is Saturday when I'm filming this and I went to like four different Dollar Trees yesterday and found a bunch of really cool stuff. But before I show you that stuff, I have to show you what my mother-in-law got me. This is not from Dollar Tree. You guys, <laughs> look at how big well, this thumbs up is. I feel that you're a big thumbs up to me. <laughs> Aww, thanks mom. That is so sweet. So I think I'm going to paint the nails on this. What do you think you guys? But definitely not gonna miss that when I bring this home and put it in my background. It is huge. And where did you say you found it again? Burlington. So she got it at Burlington Coat Factory yeah. if you're looking for a very, very you long You won't find it. There was only thumb. one. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. It's really crazy. So here's my thumbs up. So if you do like Dollar Tree hauls and you like this video, <laughs> thumbs up, please. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to put this way over here so we don't knock into that because you guys know I love knocking things over it's what I do I tried to organize this stuff so we're gonna start out with some food finds and so this is a repurchase Matt likes these zero calorie zero carb uh, energy drinks and this is in the I don't know, citrus something. I can't see what it is. So this one's a citrusy one, and these are 16 fluid ounces. And then this one's a cotton candy one, and he really likes the, is it the cotton candy one that you really like, baby? Yep, I like that. So we've all seen these pirouettes, I think they're called. Um, they're like the little crispy roll-up things with something in the middle. I've never seen the chocolate ones. These are delicious chocolate cream wafers by Rhonda Letty. That's your favorite. Oh, Scott's favorite. Your brother-in-law's favorite. Really? Mm -hmm. Who wants to try one? I want to. I'll hand uh, this off if you can open it and then we'll, we'll give these a try and let all of you know if they taste good. I have a feeling they probably will taste good. Um, so these are new. Now they've had these Autumn Mills um, instant oatmeals for a while now, but these are new flavors, guys. So they had a pumpkin spice one and a gingerbread one. So I'm really anxious to try these out just in time for fall coming up. and. There are five pouches in each of these, no high fructose corn syrup, no artificial flavors, no artificial preservatives or sweeteners. So I think for a dollar, that's a pretty good deal for five oatmeal. I can smell the gingerbread one through the box. I love gingerbread. Thank you. <laughs> I love ginger and I love gingerbread so when you open up those little wafers get this little bag here do you want to try no one thanks. they're delicious and I like them they are really good there's like chocolate in the middle but it doesn't taste like Nutella chocolate it just tastes like some kind of chocolate. So yeah, if you see these, try them out. They're pretty good. Can you take that one back, please? Okay. This is a repurchase. I use paper bowls for the wet cat food for the kitties. And these are the bum chicken bowls that you see me buy all the time. And there are 10 of them in here. These are pretty big bowls. I think they stopped selling the smaller paper bowls. So 
that's what we're stuck with. But that's all right. They work. Okay. The next thing. You've seen me buy these before. These are the Glad Freezer Zipper Bags. And this is the bonus box that says there are nine of them in here. And I used to think that it wasn't a great deal to get nine bags for a dollar that you can get a better deal at the store. But I price these out. Um, if you're in the Michigan area, we have a store called Meyer, and I was looking at the name brands, I was looking at the store brands, um, even at Walmart, I was looking at the store brands. And nine for a dollar is actually a really good deal. These can be pretty expensive. And I really, really like these freezer bags. I don't just use those for the freezer. I use them for everything. And then I bought some popcorn. I thought we have Lily this weekend, so I don't know if we're gonna have a movie night. And I think the popcorn I have, I bought at Dollar Tree like three years ago. <laughs> so I think it might be getting a little stale. So I picked up a box of these Act movie theater butters and there are three bags in here. And then um, Pop Weaver, there are three bags in here. I don't know which one tastes better. So we'll give both of those a try. And you like popcorn, don't you, Mom? Love it. <laughs> <laughs> I grabbed these for my aunt. She really likes these true lemon pouches. Um, it's just like literally putting lemon into your water. There's no sugar or sweetener or anything in these. It's just crystallized lemon. So there are 12 packets in here. And that's a really good find for these for a dollar. And then I think this is the last food buy. So I've never seen this bag of rice before. This is Omega rice and it is jasmine rice. And I love jasmine rice, it's my favorite. It's a one pound bag. I have bought this before and I bought another one because I'm just saying you guys, if both of them are there. They're both one pound, but I feel like this packaging is going to be a lot more shelf stable than this type of packaging. So I would go for this one here, which is made by So Natural. Cause I like keeping these down in the emergency pantry. And, aw, thank you. Yep. <laughs> my hubby, my assistant is like clearing things <laughs> off the table as we go. Cause we have quite a few things to show you. We do. Okay. I raised um, a real nice boy. You did. <laughs> He's the best. Yeah. He's a nice boy. I try. <laughs> Pat him on the head. Such a good boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, you know, Dollar Tree and stickers, I can't seem to stay away from them. Um, these are the kind that you can put on a mirror, a laptop, or whatever device. You can put it on your fridge, whatever. They come off easy, but I really loved this one. It's a scripture verse, and it's, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Really, really pretty. And then they had some Halloween stickers, and I thought these were really kind of cool. They are sugar skulls, but they're like black and silver and rose gold type of effect. Hopefully you can see what's going on here, but they look like they're almost um, metal, but they're pretty cool. And then they had these ones. Oh, this one's holding a coffee cup. I didn't even notice that. All right, so these are so cute. And if you don't know, I like putting these on. When I send out giveaways, I put stickers all over the package. So when it arrives to whoever, it looks all cute and fun and happy. And I think the people at the post office like it too. Just cute. And these are some more Halloween. I'll probably put these in a giveaway. Let me know in the comments below if any of you would wanna see these stickers in a giveaway. And I think that's it for the stickers. 
So crafting stuff. Do you know what a Cricut machine is, Mom? Yes. Okay. So Dollar Tree has started carrying all this stuff that people use for their Cricut machines. Wow. And it's like expensive stuff. Yeah. So something that people use when they have Cricut is vinyl paper, which can be pricey oh, that's at nice. um, Michaels and places like that. Well, you guys, when I got to one of my Dollar Trees, she was just putting out um, a bunch of new ones. So I am going to just show you. Let's see how talented I am. <laughs> But your sister-in-law would love those. These were all the new ones. There's actually a white and black one of this buffalo check as well. I did not grab that. But these are great. Yeah. I know my niece has a Cricut. Um, I was going to see if these are anything she would want to use. If not, I may do a crafting giveaway and give away a bunch of the crafting stuff. But these are one, you get one roll and they are 12 inch by 48 inch. So really cute. And it does show you on the box some of the things that people do with them. Cool. Really great deal for a dollar. And something else that was new to me was this package of packing paper and there are 20 sheets in here let's see they're probably i mean they're probably pretty similar to just the um tissue paper as far as the size but they're a lot thicker than tissue yeah. paper yeah so these yeah. are really nice size sheets 20 of them for a dollar i didn't think was too bad of a deal and with you know all the um, friend mail or giveaways that I send out I like to make sure I have stuff to pack things in really nice so they don't break before getting to you guys um, not much as far as the school supply section but I did see this package of paper meat pens these are there are eight um, ballpoint pens in here and they are smooth ink it says so paper mate's a good brand and I actually want to open this up too if I can because these aren't the typical <laughs> thank you <laughs> these aren't the typical pens that I see in the packages like this so this is what they look like they have like that type of cap that comes off. And since I have, oops, I'm losing a nail. Um, since I have a notebook here, so I grabbed this notebook. I don't know, I, I don't need another notebook, but I like the colors on it. And I like that it was um, a smaller notebook. It is college ruled. And it does have 100 sheets, but I gotta test out this pen because I am obsessed with pens. Yeah, ooh, I like that. That's a smooth yeah, pen. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. I I don't like when pens feel like it's rough to write yeah. with. So these are good pens. If you're a pen snob, pick up a bag of those. Good deal for a dollar. And then I found these stretchable book covers. It says four way stretchable fabric. Fits book fits Bix. Fits books up to eight by 10 or larger. Wow. So they had other colors. I'm pretty sure um, I took a little clip to show you the other colors. Make sure you watch at the end, till the end of this video because I do have a little bit of walkthrough to show you some of the other things I saw that I didn't buy. So I thought this was really interesting because it's, it's just the material yeah. instead of paper. And I don't know. That doesn't seem like eight one, by ten. That's no. little, you guys. What kind of book you know, is this for? A stretch on. I don't know how big. There's no way it's going on here. Oh no. 
No. Yeah, see, I thought maybe I could see if it would go on my accounting book, but there is no way that this thing. I don't know. No. No. So I'm not quite sure <laughs> what size book this is intended for. So you guys, I got it like on one side, but there's no way it's going to make it all the way around. So if you have a really, really big book, like this beast, then these are not going to work. So, great. Oh well. Okay, moving on. So they have all kinds of cute stuff going out for Halloween. And there were a few things that I picked up because I just thought they were so pretty. So they had this sugar skull platter here. And at least at my store, they only had one design of this. So I just picked up one of those. And then they had the coffee mug to go with it. And I thought that was really, really pretty. I wouldn't just use this around Halloween. I would... I would use it all the time, but just your regular little travel coffee mug. And I needed one that wasn't Christmas themed because you guys, I'm still using my like red truck one and my gnome ones that I got last fall and Christmas. So at least now I won't I like, like them. <laughs> be Christmas in August. Do you like those? I like them. <laughs> They're just really colorful. Well, I'm thinking of a whole table for Halloween, the kids. Right. It'd be cute. <laughs> and I did get a few, I did get a few signs. So they had this one that I thought was pretty cool looking. It says, beware. And it's just really kind of plain looking, but I don't know. I just, something about it, I liked it. And then they had this welcome. And it's like red sparkle letters. But these, these are just a really easy thing to throw on your front door or you could put by your front door. Um, I don't know if you're passing out candy, just easy things that you could just put out in front of your door really quick to make it look like Halloweeny, I guess. And then I got this sign. <laughs> yes, Halloweeny. <laughs> <laughs> and I got this one here. It says, Welcome My Pretties. And I just like that it said, Welcome My Pretties. I don't really care about like the witch hats and all that stuff, but I just liked what it said. So I thought that was cute. And then, oh my gosh, I got so excited <laughs> yeah. when I saw these, you guys, and I'm like, there must be kitchen towels that match these. Where are they? I, I could not find them anywhere. But look at, they are gnome, and these are like fall Halloween uh, pot holders and an oven mitt. With the pot holders, you get two of them, and they are just so stinking adorable. I just love that they're having all the gnome stuff come out so i grabbed two sets of these because i'm going to get a giveaway together to send out or to put out in, just in time for you guys to get these so you can have these out for fall and oh so a few weeks ago i hauled these glasses that had this design on them and now I found pot holders that match, and these are really bum chicken rare too. And bum chicken rare is just my way of saying, whoa, this is like retro 70s, 80s type of thing. And yes, that has been my word for like since 1992 or something like that. But yes, very bum chicken rare. So I got the pot holders and the towel to match, and then the, um, oven knit to match. Just thought that I love the colors, just really simple looking. And they have these really, really cute boxes, you guys. 
I'm going to use this box as a vase and put like fake fall flowers in there. I think that'll look really pretty. So these are pretty firm. Um, you know, they're boxes. And then they're just open on the inside. They did have this in a smaller size as well. And they, I think I put that at the end of this video showing you some of the other designs for these. But I think these would make a really cute way of displaying your fake fall flowers. I think that's pretty. Yeah. And then they also had these soaps. I was like, no way, these are so cute. So they had the little ghost hand or pump hand soap and it says it's coconut lime scented. Let's just see. Oh, that smells nice. Coconut is it's my favorite. Yeah, that smells really, really nice, you guys. Yeah. And then they also had, I really thought this one was so cool, the skull, because you can use this one year round. And this one is pomegranate vanilla scented. So I gotta give this the sniff test. I don't smell much vanilla in that. Do you wanna smell it, Mom? No, this is nice. Yeah, this one, yeah. the ghost smells better. This just smells more like soap, where this one smells more like a Bath and Body Works right. scent. But obviously, if you could refill these if you're somebody who has no problem putting a skull out all, all year round, you could re keep refilling this with whatever your favorite soap is. And really decorate that would be cool. your house with everything. Yeah. yeah. Um, they had some more new pillowcases. So I know it's hard to see this one unless I open it. So let me open it for you. And I don't like sleeping with this material pillowcase, but these are really, really nice for just having like a decorative pillowcase on your couch or on your bed if you have your bed spread all up and everything. So this one says, I believe, Faith Family Friends. Yes. So I just thought that was so nice, the color of it. To me, if you had this over a pillow, this would look kind of like a high-end decor pillow that you would, you know, pay like $40 from Target. So if you've never thought of looking at the pillowcases, you know, maybe this will help you look at them, look at them a different way. Um, they don't just have to be for the bed. And... They had this picture frame, and I thought this was really cool too. It's like the um, beehive design. I don't know, can you see that really good on camera? And it's like a gold color, and I thought this frame would be perfect for using some of our great pictures that are in our calendars, or maybe you have some other kind of um, bee picture that isn't in a frame type of situation and you could put it in this and turn it into wall decor. I actually have a calendar up right now that I got from Dollar Tree last year and for the month of August, the picture on it is a really nice, it's a bee um, with a cute background. It looks really farmhouse looking and I'm like, I don't wanna throw this calendar away. The pictures are so nice. So I think I'm gonna stick that bee in here and then you can use it you know, all year round or when you want to put out some bee decor for the summer. And I found this Spooky Princess sticker face book right here. And I, I want to give this to Annabeth. I think that she will have fun with it. So when you open it up, there's all these little blank faces. And then inside for the blank faces, there's all kinds of eyeballs and mouths cute. and... That's cute. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, there's a lot of faces in here. A lot of them. So, and then there's more stickers on the back. So I just felt like she would probably have oh, fun yeah. with that. There's even eyebrows in here. <laughs> cool. Cute. Yeah. Very cute. They had one for the boys too, like a boys version of it. But I just got the, the princess one. And then a couple makeup. I think these are the only makeup finds that I got this time. These are the Tony brand, and they are both mascaras. 
One is a volumizing black mascara, which is right here. And then this is the dramatic black mascara. So I'm curious to see how these are gonna work. The, this is what the brushes are like on each of these. And I'm running low on mascara, so like I better pick up some of that. With all the makeup I have, you guys, surprisingly, I really don't have mascara. So I gotta have mascara. I gotta have eyebrows and I gotta have mascara to make my eyelashes look existent. But anyway. And before we get into this last bag of goodies, um, I want to show you this goodie that I finally found. I know everybody and their mother and their mother's brother has been finding these little caboodle looking um, makeup storage cases. And I finally found them. Yay! But they only had pink. But that's okay because of all the colors. I think pink was just the cutest. So I did get several of these because I thought they would be perfect to use for giveaways. So with that being in mind, I have one here full of, ooh, full of some goodies. Um, most of it is hard candy. So let me show you really quick. There's um, a hard candy primer serum. There's a Hard Candy Glitterazzi Press and Play lips, Lipstick or Lip Gloss. We have a Wet n Wild Bronzer. A Maybelline Superstay Multi-Use Foundation Stick in Natural Beige. A Wet n Wild Correcting Palette. This is a hard candy um, eyeshadow in the color Flirty. Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit. This is liquid um, eyeshadow and it's like in this really cool purple type of color. This is hard candy long wear eyeliner. And we have hard candy Mataholic Velvet Mousse Lip Color, and it comes with the lip pencil as well. Wet n Wild um, Highlighter. And Hard Candy Oil-Free Loose Powder. This is Bake, Brighten, and Set. And then, dun 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 dun! We have a Wet n Wild palette here with all these really pretty colors perfect colors for fall, I think. So yeah. you could win this. <laughs> you got a lot in there. <laughs> I tried to get as much as I could in well, here. You did. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> now I have to get it all back in there. Yeah. But if you would like to enter to win this, here are the details. You have to be 18 and over. You have to live in the U.S. You have to be a subscriber and you have to like this video, please. And uh, you also need to comment down below. Hashtag Ginger, G-I-N-G-E-R, in honor of my mother-in-law. Oh, so hashtag Ginger. <laughs> and I will be picking a winner soon from those comments. So... More makeup, more makeup, and there will be more makeup giveaways to come. You can, you can, I promise you, because I, I need to get rid of a lot of makeup. Okay. So we're down to pretty much the last thing. And I'm using my pretty bag here that Jenny sent me. So thank you again, Jenny. I love this bag so much. And, okay. Oh my gosh. So I did sign a book and it's not a cookbook. It is the Rose Art Museum at Brandy's, Brandy's, 
and it still has the seal on it you guys this book retailed for sixty dollars in the u.s and i have no clue what is in here i got it thank you yep. so let's just see it's amazing to me that something that was $60. Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh-oh. You guys, I just ripped the cover. Oh. <laughs> oh, well. That's all right. So, inside, there's just a bunch of artwork. Weird artwork, I guess. I don't know. But it was worth, I think, getting it for a dollar, seeing what's in here. Um, somebody, somebody could, maybe if there were, somebody wanted to make a collage, you could destroy this book and cut out some of these pictures. Sure. And make a cool collage. That looks interesting. But... For a dollar. This book was $60. Somewhere out there, people were paying $60 for that book. It's just crazy to me. All right. So, next up, I just like keeping these down in the emergency pantry. You never know. Who knows if we ever had another shutdown or something happened. You know, you don't want to be left without feminine products. So, I think these are a really great thing for anyone to have as a backup plan and you get 16 of these these are maxi pads they are super heavy flow so 16 of them for a dollar i don't i think that's a pretty good deal so i just grabbed a couple of those and i just needed more flame for my candles i have been looking around for the refillable ones i have not seen them at dollar tree in a long time so I just got this kind, but if you find the ones that are all black, those ones are refillable and a much better deal for the dollar. Oh, I lied. I did have more makeup. So they had some Revlon lipsticks. Let's see. I know I had another one in here. Anyways, this is Revlon lip color and it doesn't really tell you what the color is. Maybe that's why it ended up in a dollar store. I don't know. But it says it's limited edition formulated with microfine pigments for high impact color. So this is what the outside looks like. But the lipstick is an actual color. So I just think it's so weird that they didn't put a color on the packaging. And oh, here's the other one. And as you can kind of see, this one looks like a ruby red type of color. Yeah. Looks like it's pretty. And then I grabbed a couple of these Wet n Wild um, upside down. Wet n Wild Tutu Tango Lip Gloss Balm. So that is the scent or the flavor or the color is Tutu Tango. So I got... One for me and one that I'm going to throw into the giveaway that I just showed you guys. Then they had these um, scent vent clip air fresheners again. And I really like these. I thought these had a nice throw and they lasted quite a while in the car. So I grabbed another package in the scent cleansing sauna because two for a dollar, that's a really good deal. These things can be kind of expensive in the regular stores they had this nail art pen this is really isn't a new product at dollar tree but it is new packaging so that's why i really got it so these nail art pens are pretty cool because on one end you have like a really high pigmented type of nail polish color so you could draw lines on your nails or do graphics and then the other end has like glitter and they come in different combinations so i think that's pretty cool I for a like, dollar i like that i've never seen one yeah they've had them for a while oh. but that packaging really makes it uh stick out uh <laughs> on the on the shelf more oh 
So they had these Preparation H Soothing Relief Anti-Itch Creams. They are maximum strength, hydrocortisone 1%, effective itch relief, no added fragrance. Now, I assumed because it was Preparation 8 that it was for the butt, but maybe these aren't for the butt. <laughs> Well, I mean, what else, what else, else am I going to... Well, because is it, it's saying anti-itch cream. It's not saying hemorrhoid cream. What could itch? Oh, okay. I'm reading the uses, you guys. I'm not going to read the uses out loud. These are for the butt. So... <laughs> Let's just open it up because I don't know how big this container is. But Preparation H is really expensive. So th I think this is a decent sized tube of it for a dollar. I mean, come on. Why not? And let's be real. There are a lot of us that have these issues. So <laughs> to find a name brand, you know, relief product, that was a really good deal. So I did grab several of those there's that <laughs> they have these diamond cosmetics uh, manicure sets diamond Co diamond cosmetics is a name brand and i thought that was like a pretty nice set for a dollar uh and it has the tweezers the manicure sticks emery boards nail clippers toenail clippers this would be nice to put in a gift set for somebody or if you're somebody who likes bringing um, donations to like women's shelters or things like that, this is like a great, great thing to include in like a little gift set for donations. So I grabbed one and I'll probably, I probably won't open it. I'll use it, you know, in a gift or something like that. And then I picked up some more of these. I really like these Coralite products. I think they work really well and they are um, very comparable, if not equal to the name brand versions of these things. So I grabbed, um, they had a Pain Relief Extra Strength uh, Hot Patch. So that's the ingredient that's in this one. And then they had a Cold and Hot Extra Strength Medicated Patch. This one has a menthol in it. And it says these are good for up to eight hours. And in those, there are two, two patches in each. So that is a really good deal for a dollar. And then they have this large menthol extra strength pain relief sleeve. So it's a whole sleeve that you could put on a knee or an elbow or an ankle or a wrist so i have never seen these kind before i thought that was really interesting it says it's a large sleeve expands to fit eight inches to 24 inches inches in circumference so that's that's really pretty good and it says compared to the active ingredients in icy hot so there are only one of these sleeves in this package so really nice that's thing to nice. have definitely yeah <laughs> And then I found this Axe deodorant, you guys. I really like the smell of Axe stuff. The tag stuff that we've been finding at Dollar Tree smells pretty good too. But, uh, why? Oh, my gosh. Let's see. So this one isn't like um, a creamy type. This is just the clear, um, straightforward deodorant. It's not an antiperspirant. And this is, it says it's 24 hour pr protection. Um, I guess the scent is Fresh Shield and it smells good. Nice. It smells very, can you smell it from there? Oh yeah, nice. Just has a nice yeah. clean smell to it. So there you go. Thank you. <laughs> and then here is the last bag of stuff. <laughs> How are you holding up, Mom? Oh, I'm interested. Entertained very, very interested. by all the finds. I found some things that I'd never seen before at a Dollar Tree. I love yeah. Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree. Yes. Yeah. So
So they have some really cute socks out right now. And I had to pick up these ones, of course, because I just think the sugar skulls are so pretty. And these fit size 9 to 11 feet, hmm. which is really generous because usually it's like, is it six to nine maybe? So if you have, you know, larger feet, then these will work. I have, I wear a size like eight to and anywhere from a seven and a half to eight and a half, depending on the type of shoe. So I'm thinking these will work. And yeah, I grabbed a couple pair because I have, I think I'm gonna send some to a friend. And then they had these bandanas that I thought were pretty cool. Oh, I can see that in those. <laughs> so these bandanas have two packs. I really didn't care for this bandana here, but because they come in two packs, I liked this one, and I thought Matt might like that one. Right. It's orange and black and then has, like, little skulls on it. So you can wear that as a headband or you could use it as a face scarf, whatever. And then they had the sugar skull ones here and then the number two design looks like this which I thought was pretty cool nice size yeah so yeah my babushka yeah <laughs> I like wearing babushka sometimes okay the last things are all socks. So I found more Gold Toe socks. If you guys don't know, Gold Toe is like a name brand sock. They usually go for um, quite a bit of money. They're a sock that you would find like at Kohl's or JCPenney's or somewhere more where they sell more high end type of socks. But so the first ones I found are these All Sport Power Socks. And there are two pair in here, and these are in a large. So if you have anyone in sports, or I am actually gonna use these as like compression type of socks. Um, Cause sometimes it just feels like really um, relieving on my leg, my calves. If I put on a tall sock, even if it's not necessarily a compression sock, if it's just something that is giving some constriction, it gives me relief. And these are really, really soft. They feel so nice. And these don't show a price. I wish they did, but they don't. Oh wait, I lied. So these retailed for $7.99. And then they had some of these um, dress socks, and there are two pair in here. These fit size shoe, shoe size four to 10. So you got the striped pair here, and then just a pair of black ones here. And you can feel they're really nice quality. And these ones do not. Oh, and actually these are not gold toe. These ones are George. And it says right on the back that these are the kind you can buy at Walmart. But again, I'm sure that they went for more than a dollar for two pairs. These are gold toe. And I thought these were so, so pretty. So look at these socks, you guys. They're a really beautiful color purple. And they have all these pretty roses on there. Um, I just... They were so pretty. They're, these are Gold Toe Premier. And they are Aqua Effects Moisture Control Reinforced Toe. And does this have a price? There's a sticker on the back, but no, I can't pull anything off. So I don't know. I wish I could. I want to see how much they were. But really, really pretty. So I grabbed a few of those because I will be giving some of these away. They're just really, really pretty. And then the last pair, oh, you guys, I wish they would have had more of these. These are Gold Toe, and they are Specialty Cozy Comfort Solution Cozy Comfort Socks. And this is what they look like. So they are like super, super soft. They're kind of like crew length socks. 
They don't have any foot grippers on the bottom, but they are just really, really nice, cozy fall and winter socks to wear around the house. And so, I, like I said, I wish they would have had more of these. And this one, again, doesn't have the price. That's kind of a bummer because I'm always so curious. But, yeah. So, those are all the socks. That is everything I have for this haul. I, don't forget to comment down below, hashtag Ginger, if you want to be entered into the giveaway for that makeup goodie box. And I will um, put all the rules for the giveaway down in the description box. And that is it. I want to thank my mother-in-law, Ginger, for letting me use her house and invading her space. I even brought the board with me. <laughs> Any, um, anytime. Anytime. And thank you for sitting here with me and hope you enjoyed doing this. I enjoyed it very much. And yes. all right, you guys. So that is it. We're going to spend a little more time and then head out on the road. We're going to try maybe to drive through. Um, there's an area this weekend. Have It's called the Detroit Dream Cruise and it's a bunch of like classic cars, hot rod cars. Um, it is the one of the biggest car cruises in the United States. People come all over and it's an amazing, amazing thing to see. And my hubby said he has never been to one or even driven through one when it's going on. So kind of excited to see if we're going to do that. But. All right, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us. Really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget, please give it a thumbs up. And I would love it if you would consider subscribing if you have not already done so. I wish you all a very, very blessed and safe weekend. And as always, my beautiful friends, stay safe and be blessed. Bye. Bye. <laughs> that was pretty.